Now today we will start with combination of registers. Combination of resistances or we can say registers. Now apart from potential difference, current in circuit depends upon resistance of the circuit. Apart from potential difference, current in circuit depends upon resistance of the circuit or we can say simply resistance of the circuit. So in the electrical circuits of radio, television and other similar things, it is usually necessary to combine two or more resistance to get the required current in the circuit. So they are Two, two types of combination of circuits, two methods to combine or combination of resistance. First is series combination. Second is parallel, parallel combination. Now first we discuss series combination suppose we consider three resistances R1, R2, R3 of resistances R1 R2 connected in series to cell of potential difference V. This is resistance R1, this is R2, and this is R3. This is EK. Current is flowing from positive terminal to negative terminal of potential difference. And this is A0. Since these three resistance, since the three resistors, are connected in series therefore the current I through each of them is same therefore current I through each of them is same by Ohm's law the potential drop across each resistor is given as now by Ohm's law V1 is equals to I R1, V2 is equals to I R2 and V3 is equals to I R3. Since V is the total potential difference across the three resistors, therefore total potential difference V is equals to V1 plus V2 plus V3. Now substituting this value we get total V is equals to I R1 plus I R2 plus I R3. This is our equation one. Now if RS is the equivalent resistance of the series combination then Ohm's, by Ohm's law we get <coughs> if RS is the equivalent resistance of the series combination.
then by Ohm's law. V is equal to I R S is a total voltage. This is equation. Therefore, from equation one and two, I R S is equal to I R one plus I R two plus I R three. So R S is equal to R one. Plus R two plus R three. This is a series combination. Thus, in series combination, the equivalent resistance is the sum of the individual resistance. Now there are some features of series combination. First, the current is same in each resistor of the circuit. Current is same is each in each resistor of the circuit. The resistance of the combination combination of resistors is equal to is equal to the sum of the voltage drop across the individual resistor. the resistance of the combination of resistors is equal to the sum of the individual resistors third point the total voltage across across the combination is equal is equal to the sum of the voltage drop across the individual resistors Some of the voltage drop across the individual resistor. Now, fourth and last point: the equivalent resistance is greater. The equivalent resistance is greater. Then that of any individual resistance in the series combination. This is all about series combination. Now we will study parallel combination. <coughs> parallel combination. We consider two resistors, the two resistors R1 and R2 connected in parallel. This is R1. This is R2. This is A point. This is B point. Now current is flowed from positive terminal to negative terminal. It is total I. This is I1, and this is I2. And here we get again total I. When the current I, when the current I. Reaches point A. 
it splits into two part i1 going through r1 and i2 going through r2 if r1 is greater than r2 then i1 will be less than i2 that is current will tend to take the path of least resistance that is current will tends to take the path of least resistance so at point a we can say that I is equals to I1 plus I2. Since the resistors are connected in parallel, therefore potential across each resistor must be same. Since the resistors are connected in parallel, therefore the potential across each resistor must be same. The potential across each resistor must be seen hence by ohm law by ohm's law i1 is equals to v upon r1 and i2 is equals to v upon r2 as I is equals to I1 plus I2. So I is equals to V upon R1 plus V upon R2. Let RP is the equivalent resistance. Of the parallel combination. So I is equals to V upon RP. Hence V upon RP is equals to V upon R1 plus plus V upon R2. Or we can write as 1 upon RP is equals to 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R2. In extension, we can write as one upon R P is equals to one upon R one plus one upon R two plus one upon R three. So this is the equivalent resistance of parallel combination. Now we see some features of parallel combination first feature is the sum of the reciprocals of the individual resistance the sum reciprocals of the individual resistance is equal to the reciprocal of equivalent resistance is equal to the reciprocal of equivalent R. Second point, the current in various resistors are inversely proportional to the resistances. The current in various resistors are inversely proportional to the resistances. Higher the resistance of the branch, the lower will be the current through it. The total current is the sum of the current flowing in the different branches. The total current 
is the sum of the currents flowing in the different branches. Now third point, the voltage across each resistor is the voltage across each resistor of the parallel combination is the same and is also equal also equal to the voltage across the whole group consider as a unit the voltage across each, each register of the parallel combination is the same and is also equal to the voltage across the whole group considered as a unit. So this is all about the parallel combination.